Okay, really fast. Sure. From here, the two types of footwork that you're going to use and you're going to program into your body. The first one we're going to learn today is called the carving step. So once you pass, you're going to cue your jumping muscles now that you've done. Now that you've completed and secured the pass, you're going to program your jumping muscles. So I'm going to come from this position directly into carving footwork, which is side hop, tall, tall toe, side hop, tall toe, side hop, tall toe. Now, what we learned, what I learned in high jump as a division one high jumper was to program your body for what it's about to do. Right now, when you see this in game speed, I'm pass one, two, three. Do I look hoppy? Do I look bouncy right there? Yes. I look like I'm going to go do something jumpy. Watch this. What am I going to do? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I've watched thousands of hours of women's volleyball. This, that footwork, what, is that, what does that body language look more like? Does it look more? Does it, it doesn't look aggressive. It almost looks like defense, doesn't it? Okay. Defense, we start low, and how do we program? about to go do. <laughs> I'm going to defensively hit my friend. Because I'm programmed to stay low. Okay, left side player. Pass. I want one, two, three. Notice the mechanic. I'm pushing out. I'm being explosive. I'm telling my jumping muscles. We're about to go jump. We're about to go jump. And then when she sets me, I'm jumping, I'm explosive. It translates through. That's your first assignment for me. Right side. The most effective offense for a, an undersized right side player is what I call a line based offense. Line based offense means once I pass, I'm going to ask for an easy push, which is not an inside set and it's not an outside set. It's the two-thirds of that space set exactly. This allows me to pass, get my carved step, maybe a second carved step, and then I face my hips directly to my target. My target in this case is the line. What I do as an undersized player is I come in and I set my hip directly to the line, no matter how big my blocker is, and then I watch for depth, for information from the defense. If the defense moves, I throw up a loopy cut shot, and again, I just challenge them to go get it. This is early offense, beginning of the game. I've never played these guys before in my life. Boom, set goes a little inside. Still set my hips to my target and use my over or if you pull my down ball. If he stays and that defender, I see him too far middle, I'm here. If I see him sneak to my cutty, I just go there and I challenge them to go get it. So hips are facing forward. It's a two-step car, okay? Three-step car. So go ahead without the ball. Three, two, go, pass. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's good, that's good. Mimic the pass first, go. Mimic, boom. One, two, and pause. Right foot needs to be forward. Right foot always needs to be back for you. Left, left foot, I'm sorry, right foot always needs to be forward. Why? Because once we get here, boom, boom, I'm here, right foot is forward, left, right, left, I'm easy to cue, exactly. So would I not do this here? Or you I would like if you, too? so here's the deal. If you, I forgot you were an indoor player. Boom, boom, left foot is always in front, right foot is always in back. If I want to load a four step, I just tilt and wait here. Okay. Now I can go boom, 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 or I can use a four step. I'm sorry, that was a three step. If I leave this foot back, it's boom, 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 boom. Okay, okay so, and, and, and I know you've worked on four. Good.